everyone and welcome back to our Shaolin Talks. I'm Martine. I'm Janine. And today we've got a really great uh, Shaolin Talk for you. So today we're getting in the festive mood. As you can see, we've got our lovely tinsel here and our lovely decoration. We're getting ready for Christmas. It's only a few days now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And today is about my favourite part of Christmas. It's about Christmas stories. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure you have lots of stories out there, maybe um, that you like to listen to. And we will present you four stories today. And we look at it a bit more closer and see how we can apply some of the morals in today's world. Yeah. yeah. So um, I found a couple of my favourite Christmas stories. So I was looking, I was thinking about when I was a child and thinking about all the all the stories that I got read or, or some things that I'd seen on television or got read at school. And I've given you a couple of my favourite, my favourite ones. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think the first one we're going to hear about. Yeah, I'm going to um, read you. It's the one. most famous app. Uh, Probably every one of you will go like, yeah. Yeah, it's like a really, like a timeless classic, <laughs> timeless Christmas story. And yeah. so I'm going to read it to you. It's called, um, it's called A Christmas Carol. Yeah. yeah, Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens, yes. It's a very famous, famous story. But this, this version is a very, very short version just to give you like a brief outline of the story, okay? Yeah, because we ready? don't have all day. <laughs> we don't have all day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... This is the story of a miser named Mr. Scrooge, who was very cunning and money-minded man. It was Christmas Eve and everybody was wishing each other a really Merry Christmas, but Scrooge just sat inside his home all alone. Yeah, and suddenly, <laughs> when suddenly, the ghost of Christmas past appeared and showed him how lonely he was when he was a child. Mm. His parents left him all alone. Mm. He was always alone at Christmas. Really? That was really sad. <laughs> and then the ghost disappeared. Next, the ghost of Christmas present appears and makes him realise how happy a poor family was when it was time at Christmas. They didn't have enough food to eat, but they were still really happy. And next, the ghost of the future appears. And this is the really cool mm. one, yeah. Do you like that one? <laughs> I like this bit, yeah, because it's all really scary. <laughs> so the ghost of uh, Christmas future appears and he takes, he takes Scrooge all the way down to see his own gravestone. Ooh. Takes him to his own funeral. Ooh. And at his funeral, everyone is criticizing him. They're saying, oh, that's Scrooge. He's so mean, you know. He never gave any money. He never know? gave any money. He was just so mean to me at Christmas. He didn't care about anybody but himself. He was so selfish. Yeah, yeah. he is, was. He was selfish, yeah. And then, and then this ghost completely disappears. So I think Scrooge hearing this, he's a little bit freaked out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So finally, he decides to change, change his future and he invites everyone to the Christmas party at his house and each and, every them, each and every one of them is completely shocked because he's completely transformed, he's changed his ways and that night everyone has the most amazing Christmas. He has this complete revelation. Yeah. Yeah. And since then, Scrooge has become the most loved man in town. Yeah. So he, he's he's turning from a Christmas Grinch from a Grinch <laughs> to, to <laughs> a to a happy Christmas loving man. Yeah. Oh, that's quite yeah. nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really cool story. Yeah. It's got loads of I think it's got re loads of really cool messages in there. Yeah. I really like. There's a there's a, a classic film that I always watch at Christmas. You know, yeah. Scrooge with Bill Murray. Have yeah, you seen that I've one? I've seen that one. Yes. Yeah, it's really cool. That's one of my yeah. favorite yeah. favorite ones. <laughs> he's the best Scrooge, I think. <laughs> you have to tell me if you agree out there. If you think he's a really good Scrooge, I think he's awesome. Yeah, or if you know any better or yeah. any other Scrooge. Yeah. yeah. It's quite it's quite interesting because this character of Scrooge is like all about showing like all the damaging effects mm. of isolation. Yeah. I mean like what happens when you I you know you isolate for like a really long period of time and isn't it really interesting that we're having to do that now? Yeah. Yeah. I bet there's loads of Scrooges out there. <laughs> 
I don't think it's make, I don't think it make everyone into a Scrooge, you no, know. No, no. no. <laughs> no. Yeah, and obviously it's got those really key important themes of love and compassion and being generous. You know, Christmas is a is a time of generosity and sharing and being with your loved ones. Yeah. Yeah. So this is yeah. the kind of the message out there. I also think if you uh, you might you might actually know a, a bit of a Scrooge in your life. <laughs> maybe you, <laughs> maybe you have a Scrooge in your life which you can um, bring some happiness to yeah. that would be great you just need like three ghosts to come <laughs> descend upon them <laughs> and give them a wake-up call <laughs> be good, okay it? yeah that would be good oh maybe so, you can uh, shall i go for the next one yeah oh i love this okay story. so I the next story. one is yeah that's this um it's um a story from uh, hans christian andersen it's the little match girl story it's again, it's not the whole story, yeah? So if you want the real story, <laughs> you need to go into your library and rent the book or watch the film. <laughs> so, okay, let's start. Oh, I love it, I love it. Okay. Let's start this, yeah? I feel like okay. I'm like five again. <laughs> so this is a story of a poor little girl who lived with her father. Her father used to send her to the streets to sell the matchsticks. It was New Year's Eve and it was terribly cold out there. The match girl was noticed by no one, and so she couldn't sell anything on that day. So she was afraid when she would go home that her father would punish her, right? Because oh, she wouldn't come home with any money. That's not good. So she really, really missed her mother and her gran grandmother who were already in heaven. So it was just her father and her by themselves. Oh, yeah, it's really so sad. sad. <laughs> and on this day, it was also, it was so cold that she finally dared to lit a match. Oh, I could light a match in here today. Yeah. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> so obviously she was supposed to sell the matches, right? But she was so cold that she lit it herself to keep herself warm. Right. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. So soon the match turned into a fireplace and she made herself warm. But it didn't last for long. Without thinking, she lit the second match. But this time, the wall turned into a veil and she could see a dining room with lots of delicious food. I think mm. she was, um, I she think was she, hungry as I think well. she was hallucinating. Yeah. <laughs> but in a couple of seconds, it vanished. All oh. gone. When she lit the third match, a beautiful Christmas tree appeared. Oh. It had many beautiful candles and she wanted to hold the candles but she reached and the candles flew to the skies and turned into stars. She disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> Next, when she lit the match, she saw her grandmother whom she loved most and one by one she struck the whole bundle of matches and she didn't want her grandmother to go away. So the next day it was New Year the match girl was sitting at the corner with red cheeks and a smiling face. The people there thought she was trying to keep herself warm last night, but no one knew the magic moments she spent last night. Oh, that's, that's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like that one. That's a different <laughs> yeah. ending to what I know. <laughs> it's a different your, ending. your ending is a bit more grim, yeah. right? <laughs> I, I think Hans yeah. Christian Andersen's endings they are, are quite grim. Yeah. They are quite grim, aren't they? The stories don't have a good ending, but that one has a really nice ending. Yeah, yeah I prefer that ending to the, the original. I quite like this. This, this is also has quite nice stories about family, about mm. the importance of family, yeah. about the importance of um, yeah coming together mm. and enjoying moments together, mm. like she with her grandparents yeah. um, and even with her father, you know, mm. so... And also kind of like the power of the imagination, mm. you know, the power of your imagination, you know, and, and what that can kind yeah. of up for you. Yeah, and, and I think it's also kind of to, to remind yourself how fortunate you are sometimes, mm. you yeah, know, because yeah. there's sometimes it's not always everything's bad, you know, sometimes mm. you just need to look at what you have. Even this mm. little girl, although she's, she's probably poor and... She had no food and it was cold, but she had some matches and mm. it gave her like hope, like hope I get it, yeah. and um, 
yeah, and yeah. really nice memories. Yeah. I think that's kind of <coughs> symbolic in, in stories, mm -hmm. isn't it? When you have a light or you have a match, it represents yeah. like, yeah, hope and things. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, oh I like yeah. that story a lot. So. Yeah, it's really sweet. <laughs> So I have a, this, I have another yeah, story for this you. One is you. Yeah, this one's really this, this one's really cool. One. <laughs> yeah, so this is called um, the Little Christmas Tree. Okay, <laughs> so <clears throat> are you sitting comfortably? Yeah, yeah I'll begin. <laughs> okay, so this is a story of a little fir tree who was ashamed of his height and his size. One day, all the big trees were chopped down to build ships. And he also wanted to be used to build ships, but he was just too small. Not that he could grow a bit more. Could yeah. he? <laughs> I shouldn't <have> laughed. <laughs> oh. So months later, a sparrow came and told him that the big trees would be decorated for Christmas. Oh, wow. So the little fir tree wanted to get decorated too. And on Christmas Eve, finally, the little fir tree was cut down and taken to the house. He was decorated with candles and coloured apples and toys and a little basket of candy and a gold star right on the top. And the children, they loved the tree. The next morning, he was taken to the storeroom. He was sad and lonely once again. But there, he saw some mice, <gasps> but they were mean. Oh! <laughs> they were mean! <laughs> what did they do to him? I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to find out. It's not really here in this story. <laughs> but they weren't very nice. They weren't very nice to him. They were mean. And after some time, he wasn't pretty anymore. Oh! Did he but lose all his needles? He, he dropped all his needles, which happened when you... Do you, do you have Christmas tree? Yeah. Does all the, the needles yeah, all they drop come, off? Because if it's too dry, they drop oh. off. But then a little boy, the little boy came and took him to the forest. The little fir tree, he was replanted. He was so happy to be back in the forest with the other trees. And each and every year, the family dug him up again and decorated him with great vigor. And... Uh, that is the end of the story. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, do you like it? I love it. I love it because it's like I like it too. He he's he's kind of every year he's he's basically get decorated again. He gets pretty and yeah. um, he brings lots of joy to the family. Yeah, I think so. it's really sweet. I think it's quite um yeah. I um I, I quite like this story. I quite like this story as well. I so, think it's kind of like interesting because I think, you know, we have this, this thing in our house about how we, I, I don't like to, to buy a Christmas tree that's yeah. cut down. And I, I make sure that if I, you know, if you want to buy a tree, I have this like, tradi like tradition, like it's like save a tree. So we go and we go and buy a tree that's potted and how, then, how big is it? It's not very, right. it's like about this big, like <laughs> tiny, right. tiny thing, you know, but it's potted. And then at the end of Christmas on um, um, New, Year, New Year's, New Year's Eve, yeah, yeah New, New Year's, Year's Eve or New Year's Day, we go and we go and put it into the forest. You put it back? I put it back into the forest, oh, yeah. So we just find a space really deep in the forest and then we, we dig, you know, we dig and then we put it back into the ground and it's kind of like a symbol. Yeah. Yeah. It's a new beginning as well, right? Yeah, like a new or beginning. The, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, what do you guys do out there? Do you um, do you get Christmas trees? Uh, do you do you pick it up in the forest? Mm. Do you? Um, so sometimes you can get plant it. They got um, lots of like you know uh, trees that you can kind of mm. use over and over again. You know, they're not real <clears throat> Christmas tree. You know, like plastic Christmas tree. I think they're really cool because yeah. you just keep reusing them over and over again every year. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's better for the environment, right? It's like better for like reducing like environmental impact and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. so you, you've got basically you've got a few options. You can either um, have a um, yeah plastic uh, tree and use it all over again every year yeah like we do in my house <laughs> <laughs> and and or you you do what martin's doing and um you buy a pottage tree and maybe bring it back 
Or if you have a big house and a big garden, you can plant it in front of your house and use it every year again as well. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I do like that too. So it's quite a nice uh, story. Janine, I, I really <clears throat> like you to read this this story. Okay, this is a really this cool one. This is, um, this is the Nutcracker. <gasps> That's a classic, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I love this because I re I, I've always wanted to go and see the ballet. Have you ever seen it? No. I've never seen the ballet, no. I'd really, I'd really love to I go and really see it. I would really love to see it as well. I've yeah. never seen it either. It's Tchaikovsky, oh, yeah. I really, yeah. Have a, have a read of this one. Okay, let's have a look at the Nutcracker story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me prepare myself here. Okay. Okay. So this is a story about the Nutcracker who was a very ugly looking toy. Oh. Have you ever seen a Nutcracker toy? I don't think it looks they, that ugly. Oh, they do. They, it's really? Like, yeah, I think they're like, their faces are like, like what? this and they're there. What uh, is actually a Nutcracker though? <laughs> it, well, obviously it's a crack, crack nuts, isn't mm -hmm. it? Well, it's like a... Well, the, the, one, the, the toys they refer to, they look like they very... Like slim, like a bit like a soldier, like a, they look mm. like a soldier. They are usually dressed like a soldier. And then you have this thing at, you put the nut in his mouth. Oh, right. And then you have this thing at the back, which then closes his mouth and yeah. cracks the nut. This is, uh, <laughs> let me just see. Yeah. There is oh, no picture. I don't no, think, oh, I think no. there was a picture on there. Yeah, there is a small picture yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got like a... <laughs> Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, the story goes like this. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, it's not uh, it's not the <laughs> nicest looking toy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a very ugly nutcracker. Um, <laughs> so Uncle Peter got a funny looking nutcracker toy for his niece Marie. Right, yeah. Okay. As a gift, and. Marie was very careful with this nutcracker and put it in the cabinet. In the night, Marie woke up and she began to search whilst they were heading back. Oh, no, this no, goes over this here. Is, <laughs> yeah, it's over. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so Marie woke up yeah. to some strange noises. Uh, so okay. what did she see? I don't know. Can you guess? Can any one of you guess what she saw? What do you hear at, is it, is it, at night? Mice? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she saw guess. a bunch of mice. <laughs> and this is the best. This is the best. And she saw a mouse queen with seven heads. What? <laughs> what? A mouse queen with seven heads. That's really imagine freaky. Imagine that. Yeah. I, I imagine it. And I think I would really freak out if I saw... <laughs> A mouse with seven heads. I think so, it would really freak me out. <laughs> that's obviously quite scary, yeah? So, but mm. just then, the nutcracker drew his sword. Yeah. The toy soldiers rushed after him, shooting their guns and sugar cannons. And the nutcracker soon became surrounded by, by all the mice. And then Marie fainted. Oh, so she doesn't know the out. end of the story, she right? Passed out. <laughs> she How passed out. How unfortunate. <laughs> but obviously uh, the Nutcracker saved the day. Yeah. Okay. So um, she woke up and she told everyone her story, but no one believed her. Except her uncle. So her uncle Peter believed her and told her that the queen mouse who cast an ugly spell on the princess a long time ago. Right. Yeah? Okay. So remember this. So okay. <laughs> the princess could only reverse the spell if she could break open the hardest nutshell. Yeah? So you, you, you see where this is going. I know where this yeah? is going. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's where the nutcracker prince came in. He's so like, I can do that. <laughs> so obviously... <laughs> Something I can do. I can crack nuts. <laughs> uh, the nutcracker was able to uh, break open the hardest nutshell and um, the princess became beautiful again. Ooh. However, uh -oh. the spell transferred to the prince and made him ugly instead. You see, that's why he's ugly. Ah, I see. Um, but the princess wasn't very nice because she left him. 
Yeah. <laughs> is that the end of the story? No, it's not the end yet. I was going to say, that's really tragic. So, so the prince has <laughs> left the nutcracker. Um, and the next morning, there was a knock on the door. Um, it was the nutcracker prince whom Maurice Love had changed into the real prince. Oh. You know, because Marie, Marie believed in him. And that uh, kind of uh, reversed the spell, the spell of the Mouse Queen, and he became a prince. And obviously, the end of the story is a happy one. They married each other and, and became the prince and the princess of Toyland. Yay! And they lived happily ever, ever after. after. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where's the sugar plum fairy? I think there's a sugar plum fairy in there. I don't know. It's, uh, obviously, this story is adapted like a, in a many things. Version. So Marie is obviously a ballerina, I think. Yeah. Or in, mo in most um, like stories, she's depicted as uh, she's portrayed as a ballerina. Yeah. I think. And I think the the baddie is yeah. the sugar plum fairy, mm. isn't it? They would have the dance of the sugar plum yeah. fairy. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really love it. Yeah. <laughs> So I think that, that's the story for you. I think, Martin, so it's, uh, pretty much we should go and see the Nutcracker if yeah. it ever is around there. But I think maybe this year somewhere it might be somewhere online. Yeah, online. I think probably it will be yeah. streamed online. Yeah, that would be a really great chance. Yeah. There's been loads of stuff that's streamed online. Yeah. There's loads of things you can see. There's some really great film. I watched a, um, yeah. a, a really great film called uh, a, um, Street Cat Named Bob. Yeah, Street Cat Named Bob. <laughs> It was really great. I mean, most of these stories, they seem to have these this message about charity and about, you know, about material doing, wealth, material wealth, and that yeah. it's not important and more important to love each other and be there for each other, support yeah. each other and uh, kind of give give back to people. Yeah. Yeah. So this is yeah. kind of the ongoing messages, isn't it, that run through all of these stories? Yeah. No, I, I do. I do like uh, Christmas stories as well. There's, usually mm. they bring something good, uplifting. Yeah. yeah, it's like bring out the spirit of Christmas, yeah. the true yeah. meaning of Christmas. Yeah, yeah. the true spirit of Christmas. Although sometimes they they also can be quite grim, especially yeah. the Hans Christian Andersen one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it hit, what, another one of his one is like the Snow Queen. Oh, do, you, do you know the Snow I Queen? I do know the Snow Queen, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they, I think, uh, obviously, nowadays, I think the younger audience knows mm. under Frozen. <laughs> oh, Frozen, yeah. Yeah, I think Frozen is based on the Snow Queen. Oh, that's um, so cool. Yeah, I, I always found that with the Snow Queen very intimidating and scary. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because she kind of, she makes this um, boy, gives this boy a heart uh, out of ice. Oh, right. right. She so she plants this heart out, out of ice in him, and he just becomes ice and uh, really really cold towards everyone. Oh. And um, his best friend Gerda is basically uh, looking out for him and uh, trying to save him. So she travels like the country <laughs> to find him and basically save him, but he's almost unsavable but at really? the end I think she does so what's your um so what's your favorite um what's your favorite Christmas movie if you if you could choose one Christmas movie that you like watch every single year and you just turn it on without doubt you think oh now I'm watching my favorite Christmas movie it's now Christmas this means it's Christmas <laughs> what what's that movie I don't know if I've got if I've got a, one that I always watch every every year I know there's one in Germany that comes every year, so if you you you, you hardly can es escape it, and it's it's called uh, Drei Haselnüsse für Aschenbrödel, but oh. it's it's a Cinderella story. Oh, a Cinderella! Yeah. it's a yeah. Cinderella story, and it's 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 on on every channel, <laughs> <laughs> and you can you can watch it like three four times a day. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, it's a really nice story. So, yeah, I, I do like that one. Yeah. Anything with princesses and princes. And... No, I actually, my favorite, my favorite one is um, Frau Holle, which is, um, I don't know if you know this, the, the, uh, the woman in the clouds that um, shakes her bed to make it snow on us. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that. Yeah. 
Oh, that, that's, really cool. that's, that's a good one. But there's a, a bigger story, yeah. But that's my yeah. favorite one. Is it? Yes. I have um, I have one film that I always put put on every every Christmas. I know which film. one. I know which one. <laughs> I literally can watch it like over and over and over again because it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is you, Elf. It's yeah. Elf. <laughs> I literally love that film so no, much. It's just funny. Uh, oh, like it's it. very it's funny. Fun. Yeah, so I yeah. really, I really like that film. It makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> cool. So yeah, so we we just put the question out there to you as well. Yeah, mm. yeah. What's your what's your favorite um, Christmas story? Have any of you guys got any Christmas stories that you really like? Maybe some stories that you heard when you were a child, or maybe some films that you mm -hmm. you really like. Maybe you can send us some comments and let us know which ones you really like to yeah. listen to yeah let us know if it's uh, also let us know if it is a, a book a film or an mm -hmm. audio or a ballet or any other type of medium <laughs> yeah yeah it'd be really interesting to find out yeah okay. good yeah okay well thank you so yeah. much for watching we hope you enjoyed our stories and we're going to wish you or i'm going to wish you a very merry christmas we hope you have a really awesome time um and you get to see all the people that you really love so and um yeah, yeah. we just wish you really really merry christmas um and, and we enjoy see, yeah. yeah enjoy yourself and read some stories <laughs> <laughs> okay see you next time see ya bye <laughs>